Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to add current location of the user under our pizza too. We are going to fetch the current location of the user under its coordinate and convert the following coordinates into the address, city, country and much more. But before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. This channel shall provide you all the premium and delightful Flutter content that every app developer should need. So with that said, you can simply go under your Android, under your source for main and under this android manifest.xml file, you need to paste up the following API key from the Google Maps API from the Google Cloud itself. And once you have pasted the following API key, you can go back under debug and under the manifest.xml file, you need to add the following three permissions for access course location, find location, and also for internet. So once the following thing is done, we can simply create a new file under our services. If you observe, we have only one file here for managing our data. So we'll be simply creating a new file for maps.dart. Under this file, first of all, we will have a new class for generate maps. This class shall be extending our chain notifier. So let's notify the main method first. So for that, I can go back under our main method. Under our chain notifier, I can copy this from here, paste it here and have our generate maps method. Cool. So under our maps. Under our chain notifier, we will have a new method which is going to be future for get current location. It is going to be asynchronous. So under this method, we are going to take the position of the user. So first of all, let's create a new position to be position. Now remember one thing, after moving into our perfect.yaml file, you need to get the dependencies of GeoCoder, GeoLocator and Google Maps Flutter as I have told before. So once you are getting the following dependency, under our get current location, we can simply have a new position to be position data and the following position data shall be simply awaiting for geolocator platform via our geolocator dependency and from this we will simply get the instance and after this instance we can get the current location that is the position. So after we have gotten the following position of the user, we can simply create a new final coordinates. So under these codes, we, are, we will be simply awaiting for geocoder. So here I will be simply writing geocoder. But for that, I will be simply taking the following geocoder as geoco for dependency injections. So here under this, I will simply write geoco and from this, I will be simply getting about the coordinates and the coordinates are going to be for the position that is position data. So here I can write position data dot latitude also for position data dot longitude. So once the following thing is done under our coordinates, we can create a new variable for address. The address shall be holding up all the data shall be coded up under our coordinates. So for that, I can simply write here await for awaiting state for so under this await, I can simply write here geoco dot geocoder and from this from the local, I will be simply find my address from the coordinates which are cores itself. So once the following thing is done, we are simply getting the following coordinates of the user. Now let me tell you that the following address shall be under the type of list of all the address. So to decode any particular address, I can simply create a new string for let's say main address and under this I can simply write here address. From the address I will simply catch up the first data and from this you can see all of the available options to us. For now we will be simply getting up our address line. So once we have get that, let's print it first. So here I will simply write print main address. Cool. So once the following thing is done, we can simply create a global variable for a string. Let's say a final address. Cool. So here, once the following thing is done, we can simply assert the final address to be the main address itself. So once we have completed the following method, we can go under our home page. That is our initial page, which is under views for our home page. And under this home page, we will have our initial method of init state. So here I will be simply writing init state. And under this, I will be simply using the value from the provider. So for that, I can simply write here provider dot off and for the context i will be having context of generate maps we shall be not listening continue because the following init state shall be automatized only once so here i can write here false also let's get the current location cool so once the following thing is done we can simply go back and have somewhat initial value to our final address to be let's say searching address or any sort of thing cool so now we can simply do one thing that is set the following value of our maps that is our final address to our main address of new police area which is mock data. So to set up that we can go on our home page which is under our header text which is under our header app bar. 
so we can go to the current location and here instead of this i can simply write the following final address let's import it cool so it is be written here searching address so now let's try out loading our application once now sometimes it may happen that our application may crash because of using a new dependency but no worries let's check it out cool so as i said before the no, no collection permission are defined cause we need to simply close our entire application and reload it once so now let's do it up so here i can simply load my entire application once by terminating our debug session cool we don't need this so you can simply press f5 to reload your entire application once all right so our location thing is working that is the pizza to is asking our device location allow now here you may observe that the location is printed here which is the default location of our android emulator now you may observe that the default location shall be headed up in your console too that is we are now successfully getting the user location under our console that is under our pizza to so now let's do one thing that is reload, that is reload our application once now you may observe that after reloading the following thing is changed that's because we are not providing the value dynamically but statically but for now this is a huge achievement for us because now we are able to get the coordinates of the current user and change the coordinates under our location and also we can do one thing that is get our address line country postal code and everything from it so before closing of this video let's do one thing that is give somewhat constraints to our entire location so for that we can go under our home page and from the headers press f12 to go for the location and here you may observe we have final address here so let's refactor it under a container let's have some more constraints to it so here i will have a constraints to be a box constraints and under our box constraints we are going to have a max width of let's say 300 let's try it up all right not 300 but let's say of 250 okay it is cool now in this way we are now successfully getting the user location so let's also do one thing that is decrease somewhat font size of our icon to 12 cool uh, no 12 not 16 so in this way we are now getting the current location of the user successfully also we are now printing the following location under our console so you can simply implement the following location of the following user using the following method of get current location so with that said I think this should be all for today because we have covered a huge topic today of getting current location of the user. So with that said, if you are new to this channel, please, please, please subscribe. This channel shall provide you all the premium and quality content about Flutter that every real app developer should need. Also for further updates of my next video, please connect me on my Instagram where I will be putting all the updates about the date. I will be putting all of my dates. I will be putting all of my videos. So with that said, if you have loved this video, please hit that like button. Also comment down something to trigger up the YouTube algorithm. So with that said, I will see you in the next one while implementing data persistence of the user's address and similarly card thing. That if I show to you the following card thing, that number of items that are under our card shall be displayed over our icon of the following stack which is here. So we are going to implement the following thing in our next tutorial. Till then, have good food, eat good pizzas, goodbye.